is a dental holiday in your future? I think so. I think for many of you, you may do this uh, without even knowing you're going to do it because um, you never know what happens down the road with your teeth. You never know what happens with the prices and insurance and all that stuff. And everybody needs a vacation every once in a while, so why not take a dental holiday? What you're seeing here is just an example of some of the Mexican dentists that you can employ to fix any dental problems you have. Uh, this particular website is dentaldeparturs.com, which gives you like a really good feel for what's out there. You can get a lot of pictures and you can see you know your dentist and the staff that he hires and before and after photos testimonials and that kind of stuff what's particularly interesting is that the it has a price list which is why um, I went here first to do some research um, here's all the pictures of the actual facility and as you can see it's very modern the uh, technology employed at some of these higher end dental facilities and the labs they use are just as good as uh, they are in the United States and, and maybe better than what you have in your country. Surprisingly, a lot of these dentists uh, get trained in the United States or have lived in the United States for prolonged periods of time. So you can feel good about as far as the English language thing and you can feel good about their expertise because they're actually licensed in the states and the reason why they're in Mexico is because they can have um, their own uh, dental practice uh, for on the cheap you know they can start up a dental practice work with the local labs and cater to tourists and they can actually make more doing that than they could if they tried to open up their own dental practice in the United States you know how expensive it is to start a business in the United States now well that's a big part of the reason why they do it. This particular um, dental practice is in Baja Peninsula, California. So it is catering, of course, more towards foreign tourists. There's a lot of these in Tijuana, a lot of these um, over the border from El Paso into Juarez, I believe, uh, Monterrey. A lot of good dental um, services you can get there. Take a look at the price list. This is on the higher end, by the way, because um, it is a, a bigger dental practice. Composite filling, they're going to only charge you between $40 and $80 and do it in one day. In the United States, you're going to be looking at a $200 minimum. Um, you go down here and you look at uh, the prices for crowns and veneers. Here we go. Uh, composite veneer, U.S. $250 minimum, over there $100. Full porcelain or ceramic crown. $400 in Mexico, at least $1,200 in the United States. And that is, uh, you know, the cash price. Now, if you have dental insurance, it might be similar to that, a little bit less, but I can guarantee you, your deductible is going to be a lot higher than this, which is why, of course, you go down and do dental vacations in foreign countries because um, if your deductible is more than the entire work down there, uh, you can have yourself a vacation and still come out ahead. Um, X-rays and scanning, I didn't get charged for that, but here they have it listed as being an actual additional charge. Uh, single X-ray, $5, but again, I didn't get charged for that. That was all included in what I did. Implants, they do those. They do all the more advanced techniques, sinus lifting. They do different kinds of implants. They do abutments and all that stuff. You can see the prices here, all very, very cheap or reasonable. Again, you can get these even cheaper if you shop around. This is on the higher end. Uh, Root Canal, okay, right here. $200 in Mexico, at least 1000 or more in the United States, guaranteed. Root Canal with treatment, 500 in Mexico, 2200 in America. And that means you have a post or you have a standard crown fitted. On there the materials will be extra beyond that but this is for root canal the treatment of um, the tooth area um, getting it prepped and getting it fitted for the crown so 
that's a little sample right there. Here's some reviews, and you've got a lot of people that uh, will write in and, and talk about their experiences. So this is one of the sites you can go to. I would recommend shopping around. I would recommend also uh, making sure that you compare prices and, and be real careful with it. But that's uh, Mexico. Now, let's look at the uh, exchange rate. If you would have gone back at the turn of the year, and the exchange rate was almost 22 Mexican pesos to one U.S. dollar. You would have got a deal of the century. It's still good now. I mean, the exchange rate is still 17, 18 pesos to the dollar. So you've got nothing to worry about there. But if you pick and choose your time and you can do that, look, you're going to make out like a bandit. Now, what not to do on your dental vacation? Uh, these are all kind of obvious common sense stuff to me, but... For this, um, you want to pay attention to. Don't pay too much. Again, shop around. There are lots of online resources. All of the dentists that I contacted gave me quotes by email or by phone. So I was able to compare very easily w with uh, locations and dentists. Um, uh, don't book local tours or activities ahead of the initial cons consultation because you don't know exactly how long it's going to take. This is smart. So you give yourself plenty of days to get the consultation and get the work started before you actually make commitments on, on other stuff. So uh, don't prepay for dental work in full. Obviously, you don't want to do that, um, <laughs> especially if you're doing it in China because once they get the money in their pocket, um, you're never going to see that again regardless. Um, test drive your new teeth before you go back. This is common sense too. You give a couple days where you can get swelling to go down or other concerns and then you can actually um, see if the fit's right, if you're able to eat properly and so on. Um, don't cram your dental work in one short uh, visit. This is something to be aware of too. I will actually uh, have gone down there twice and it's still very, very cheap. I mean, the airfare from Chicago was only $200 one way, all taxes included. So that's not going to break anybody's bank at all. And the hotel, like I said, I showed you, I was staying right on the beach. It was a lot cheaper than what you think. That room that I had that I showed you on the beach, overlooking the beach, uh, fifth floor, I believe, um, breakfast included, big breakfast buffet, everything uh, included. Uh, drinks were not included, but I don't really mind that. Um, I paid after taxes, because it's the off-season, $70 a night. You can get stuff a lot cheaper than that, but that's for like more of a premium room. And um, you might want to spend, you know, several days at a premium location like that and then spend several days at a more budget uh, location in the downtown area. Say if you're going to Mazatlan, for example. That way you can see both parts of the city. And when you stay more inland, it's cheaper. You know, it, it budgets it out to being quite nice. So, um, and so, yeah, they have also here the following six S's for dental holidays and work. Okay, um, uh, be sure that uh, you pay attention, and you're not supposed to be snorkeling, sun tanning, smoking, um, eating spicy foods, soda. You know, so don't don't drink pop, stuff like that. All that should be avoided until everything is 100% in your mouth. Uh, don't walk around carrying your cash. This is common sense, you know, but even though they will take cash only, sometimes they'll take cards, but um, it, just, it just makes more sense to take a taxi or an Uber and not walk around with your money. So, um, and get a written treatment plan. This is important. In other words, you want to have your x-rays. They'll give them to you. Most places now do it digitally, and they'll email it to you. So you've got that for future work you're going to get done. That was included free with what I did. You can get it for free, too. Um, and then uh, post x-rays, obviously, you can get those done, or, or you can pass those up. I did not get those done because I know that um, the dentist is reputable, and everything is A-OK. -okay. So I got everything in writing. I got my receipts when I paid in cash. I got my x-rays sent to me, emailed digitally. And had a great time. And everything is done as well as anything I've ever got done in the States before. So let's take a look at exactly how much it did cost me. OK, here it is. Root canal. Oh, misspelled. 
300 pesos. That came to being with the exchange rate what it is, just over $200. I think like $213. But usually, you're going to be at rate about $200 for the full root canal and prep. And mine actually included a fitting because I was getting a crown anyway with my own gold. So gold crown took seven grams of my own gold. They melted it down in the lab. They mixed it with some other alloys. You want to get your gold mixed about 80% purity. Um, I wouldn't go higher than 90 because it becomes too malleable, too soft to work with. So you want to get rid of about 80% of purity, 7 grams of gold, and then also a post after that root canal so that it can help with uh, supporting the crown, 2,500 pesos. So right here you're looking at $200 US, and then right here you're looking at like another 150 or whatever for the rest of it. And that's it. I had no charge for office visit, no charge for x-rays, and I got two of those sent digitally to me. No taxes, no extra fees, and no other BS. That's it. That's all I paid. And it would have costed me easily, it would have cost me thousands of dollars to get that done here in the United States. And so for me, it's a no-brainer. And the results, time will tell, but I got high-quality gold in my mouth. I got everything done on the up and up. All of it by certified dentists and specialists. All of my paperwork and x-rays sent to me for 300 and some dollars. And um, that's uh, proof in the pudding. So I highly recommend it. It's something that you're going to want to do. If you're in North America, go to Mexico. Costa Rica is also really good. They're starting to up their game. They've got some good labs down there. It'll take a while before they're up to where Mexico is, but still. If you're in Europe, the two places you really want to go is Hungary or Romania. Hungary being probably the best one. Well known in Germany, other countries, that Hungary has great dental work and very, very cheap um, in, indeed. So um, research it, you know, see if there's something you want to do. And when you look at the numbers and you calculate how much you're going to be saving, plus you're going to be able to go on a vacation, it just makes perfect sense to get your dental work abroad.